What's good everyone, it's your boy Croc here, and today we're back with more Pokemon cards. So I've got quite a few. I've got this set, I've got the Toxic Chrissy set, I've got four Rebel Clash booster packs, <laughs> as well as a uh, Rayquaja with three more Rebel Clashes and a coin, plus a Pokeball. <laughs> I'm gonna start by opening the Pokeball first though. The Pokeball contains three Pokemon TCG booster, fucking booster, booster packs as well as a Pokemon coin. So I went to the city to try and get a uh, phone yesterday. Find a pawn shop that was open with the whole uh, friggin' world tour of the Backstreet Boys that's going on right now, so. Due to that, most places and shops are closed. Jesus Christ. Christ, man, this is ripped in the most unefficient way fucking possible. Okay, boom, we got we got it open. So in total, I spent about 170, like about 20 on two packs of sleeve. That should hold about 700 cards in total. We'll get started with a Pokeball. I don't know how to open this. Oh, I guess it uh just pops off like that. Okay. Let's see. Oh my God, we got Sun and Moon, Burning Shadows, XY Evolutions, and Lost Thunder. We got a coin inside as well. I think this is Necrozma, I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, it's the plastic coin, not too bad. Put that to the side, but we got XY Evolutions, Burning Shadows, and Lost Thunder. I'll do the XY Evolutions first because I like uh, the set. I mean, we're obviously still trying to get rid of some uh, older stuff. These code cards, I'm going to be keeping for myself, but I'll give away maybe one or two Rebel Clash uh, card. Alright, first up we got Onyx, followed by a Normal Energy. Voltorb, Tangela, Poliwag, Reverse Hollow Beedrill, a Raticate, I believe that is the uh, rare in this pack. And we got a Magmar, a Venusaur, Spirit Link, and a Metapod. Okay. So nothing too crazy so far out of that. We'll do the Sun and Moon Burning Shadows now next. First off, we got Dumbbells. Now, this should be extra expensive due to the... Uh, whole situation we're going through right now. Next up, we got Simipore, a Soul Rock, Tajimaru, Sock, Mudbray, friggin' Weed Pokemon, nice, Duskull, Reverse Hollow Sock, and then the last is a Crabomitable. Oh yeah, Mr. Krabs! <laughs> Looking very crabby, little gusty hammer and double stomp top tier moves right there now we'll do the lost thunder i mean pokeball is cool because you can uh, just put it on your desk that's what i'm planning to do all right first off we got choice helmet followed by morty Oquilava, tangela ninkata chinchu mareep marine reverse hollow is a go-go and ooh, oh <laughs> shuckle gx you know what, I'm not even cheesed about that. I didn't have Shuckle GX, but I have this card in the online game. Now, I think I'm gonna do the... <laughs> Placed it upside down. I'm gonna do the Sword and Shield figure collection. Inside of here, you get one promo Pikachu card as well as a figurine. Swabble, Score Bunny, and Grow Key over there. So those four packs. Looks like there's a Sun and Moon pack back there and maybe a Cosmic Eclipse? There we go, we got the thing. Let's remove the plastic off of it. Oh, it looks like there's a plastic thing right there, and then it, boom, falls out. And there we go, that's the Pikachu promo card that comes with this set. I think the design on this card is overall very nice. Now, we got Rebel Clash, Rebel Clash, Guardians Rising, as well as Cosmic Eclipse. First off, let's take a look at the figurine. It is all together, which is cool. And yeah, just a little thing to add to a desk or somewhere around your room or where you live. And a little Pokemon, it's honestly really high quality. Like, you, like if you look on Wish, like, oh my god, those uh, Pokemon pieces, they're abysmal. Like, these are very high quality. I guess we'll go Sun and Moon, Cosmic Eclipse, then Rebel Clash. I actually got a booster box of Cosmic Eclipse on the way. That's the last of my big uh, Pokemon purchases for the next little bit. But I'm looking forward to see what I get in that because uh, Cosmic Eclipse is one of my... One of the sets I like more, but uh, I skipped out on buying around that set time. Let's see, we got a white card at the back. That's supposed to be good luck. First off, we got Lampent, followed by good old Hentai Monster. Nice. We got a Max Potion. Machop looking nice, Slowpoke looking fat, <laughs> a low in Vulpix, we got a Beldum, and then a Patil, a Murkrow, 
Oh, Sylveon GX. So Maricrow was the uh, reverse holographic, and then this is the uh, rare. That's the second GX pull that we've gotten so far from these cards. We've opened up, I think that was the fourth pack, so that's very good. I'll definitely take that from the Guardians Rising pack. I don't mind that. <laughs> All right, now we will go into the Cosmic Eclipse. First up, we got Dartrix. Then Lily's full force. Lily got nerfed whenever they updated the whole format where you can't play trainers on your first turn. The normal Lily card is nerfed. Good old Deerling. Teddy Ursa. Golette. Reverse Hollow is a Lantern, and then the rare is a Magneton. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, the design on it looks very, at least, unique. Like I, I do like it. And now let's get into V2 Rebel Clash packs. I'll go with the water one first. One, two, three to the front. Take the energy off the back. And then we got good old Morpico in the water wheel. We got one of these last time, I do remember. A scoop up net, nice. Heracross, Volaby, Dreepy, Magmar, Yamask, Surskit. Reverse Hollow Surf get right after, and then a Spirit Tomb looking like a fucking vomit puddle from someone that was drinking lean. That's uh, very nice. Alright, that is six packs. Let's go on to the seventh now. Alright, let's see. First off, we got Morgrem, followed by a Medichan, and then a Pokeball item card, Heliotile, Honedge, Litwick, Galarian Corsola, Binnacle, Reverse Hollow is a Pidov, and then we got a Galarian Mr. Rhyme. Okay, not the best, but a Galarian Mr. Rhyme. Nice. You know, before Mr. Rhyme was a uh, professional Pokemon, he uh, tried to be a SoundCloud rapper. That's why he got the Rhyme part in his name. Rap. Okay, sick. I think now I'm going to go on to... I do two of these booster packs. The unfortunate thing about them is that they're in these cardboard sleeves. One, two, three, to the front. Okay, first off, we got Yoshi's, we got Yoshi's Woolen World Metapod, nice. We got the Burning Scarf, ooh, that's pretty decent. Oleana, we got a Clefairy, a Vault Orb, a Nosepass, Wingle, Phantom, Reverse Hollow is a Cursed Shovel. I'm not too sure, I haven't, I haven't seen this card too much yet, honestly. I have to look more into it after the video, um, RK9. Starting off with another Morgrim. I mean, duplicate commons are always fun. We got a full heal, a training court. That's the place from uh, the Pokemon Sword and Shield. This is where I learned to be a professional idiot. Got a Skunky, a Grubin, a Wingle, Natu. Reverse Hollow is a Honedge. And then we got a Stone Journer. A uh, normal stone journer, not the V1, but okay. I think let's try and open up this one now. This one comes with a promo Rayquaza card as well as a coin. Okay, take the card out carefully, even though it's uh, still kind of bent already, but whatever, it's not too, too damaged. And then here we have a, I believe that's a Zerora. Absolutely fantastic. Let's go with, first off, good old Rillaboom. I'm feeling a little bit of faith in this pack. I don't know. It's not opening up first, so that's fucking splendid. Ah, some, hey, sometimes you just gotta rip it open like a poo tang, you know? There we go. Oh, we got the nugget. I don't think expensive or worth anything in real life, but that's alright. We got a scun tank. More Pico again. Galarian Meowth looking nice. We got a Surskit. Little Magikarp. Metatite. Milsery looking weird. We got Galar. Mine is the reverse hollow looking pretty decent there. And then we got a Digzer. I mean, I don't know. So far, luck on the uh, Rebel Class booster packs isn't too, too good. But that's all right. I don't really, I don't own many of the cards that I'm opening up anyways. So first off, we got the Scoop Up Net, followed by Heracross, Electrode, Volibee, Dreepy, Magmar, Yamask, Surskit, Reverse Hollow is a Snuffle, and then we got a nice colossal Godzilla looking Pokemon. Now we'll get into the third booster pack. That was with the Rayquaza. The Rayquaza card <clears throat> is nice on its own to be honest, so that's at least the plus side to buying those, but 
Either way, I think it's cheaper to buy, but I wanted to ball out on some cards and then get some promo cards that I know I won't uh, get otherwise. First off, we got Mom waking you up in the morning for school looking wonderful. Speed Lightning Energy. That's pretty nice, honestly. I'll take that with fucking pride. Go Big Bird Mouth. Big Skunk. Grubbin. Wingle. Natu. Barboach. Reverse Hollow is a Wingle, and then we got another Puke Puddle Spirit Tomb. Awesome. Like, I haven't really gotten too many super good pulls from the Rebel Clash set yet. I know they put in the V cards in here, but other than that, there isn't too, too much that I'm really hoping to pull. Code card off here is the Rebel Clash card that I said I would show off, so go ahead and put that in and get yourself a free pack. That code right there, that's like fucking 50 cents Canadian. <laughs> well, that's my good deed for the month done. We starting off with more Cove and a capacious bucket. That's a horror energy. Perfect. Nice. We got Roly Coley. Oh, Skunk Tank. Or Skunky, not Skunk Tank. Clefairy. We got Voltorb. Nose Pass. Reverse Hollow is a Caterpie. And then we got a Duraludon for the rare. I think I'll save this for last and we'll go on to the box now. So same just as the other box. Have to open it up. Horrible job, but there we go. Finger can cut like a knife. So strong I am. And boom, right here is the Toxicracy. So Toxtricity. I'm butchering his name for sure always, but it's pretty good electric V-type Pokemon. There we go. Boom. Toxtricity V rocking some pretty good moves and there is a V Max card for this Pokemon as well So it is a pretty nice Pokemon. It does a lot more damage in V Max if a Pokemon is damaged on the other side So that's cool next up. I'll take a look at this giant card. We got very good for like kids to throw on their walls or something Okay, so now we have a sword and shield two packs then we have a Cosmic Eclipse and an XY Evolutions, of course. It wouldn't be a Pokemon uh, bundle from the official Pokemon company if they didn't bundle in a card pack that was released in fucking when? 2018, maybe 2017. Oh, uh, they don't even print it on the package. They don't want you to know. To look. Okay, so first we got a Revive Trainer card and then a Slow Bro Spirit Link. Okay, nice. Uh, we got a Super Potion... Nice, normal Pikachu, Staryu, another Onyx, I think we got that in the other pack as well, a Weedle, Machop, I love this Machop design, that's fucking classic, Reverse Holographic Onyx, that's pretty nice, we now have three Onyxes, oh, another Zapdos card, I actually pulled one of these in my um last uh, opening, but I mean, I'll take another one, I can probably trade that to a friend or something, now we'll do the Sword and Shield packs, Starting us off, we got a Heat More looking very hot. Metal Saucer, pretty decent. A Quick Ball. We got Score Bunny, awesome. With a little Fire Trail behind his foot, looking pretty decent. Got Sinisty. Maracus. A Pikachu. Oh, the Galarian Meowth. The Reverse Holographic is a Boltund. Not a great Bolton, there's a better one, but that's alright. And then we got a Turtonator. Alright, and a Thunder Energy, perfect. Let's go into the second Sword and Shield pack right now. Open it up like a fucking mongrel. Go like that, one, two, three, to the front. Take this one off the back. First off, we got a Vitality Band. You do 10 more damage to your opponent's Pokemon. That's actually... Pretty alright for uh, quite a few decks. There's a Raboot. Pseudo Wudo. Good old silly, silly Cobra. Nice. Grew Key. Kufant. Ball Toy. Chinchu. Reverse Hollow is a Musharina. And then we have a Chin Xeno for our rare. Not exactly what I was hoping for, but I mean, that's alright. I'm gonna have to spend probably another like half hour or hour putting them all into my binder and shit, but that'll be fun. This one, perfect. Start going. We got first off Zangoose looking pretty nice. Vaporeon, a tag call. Drillbur, Tangela, good old spaghetti monster. Eevee, Duskull, Timple. Oh! 
Nice! I, I, I forgot this has the uh, full art cards with the trainer cards. This is Glade with uh, Wally from Emerald, Ruby, and Sapphire, if I'm not mistaken. Awesome, that's pretty nice. I've been alone Sand Slash. I mean, I, I, these cards don't sell for a super lot, if I'm correct, but uh, they do look pretty nice. That is 244 out of 236, so... I'll look up the card after the video. Pretty decent right there. I'll put that to the side because that's a pretty nice card, I gotta say. That'll be one that's thrown in with some GXs and other stuff, I think. All right, and it is all just down to one pack remaining. Let's see if we get anything noteworthy from this. Remember to like the video if you guys enjoyed it. I'll try and do some more of these when I get some more cards in. I'll have like another video out within like a week or so of Pokemon, but then after that, it'll be a bit slower, I think. Either way, wish me luck with this pack, as first we have a Lampent with Metachan, good old Yoga Kick. Beware again, Electabuzz, nice. We got a Squovit, a Snover, Natu, Trubish, Reverse Hollow is a Palpitoad, and the last one is, ooh. Okay, Phalanx V. Not too, too special, but I mean, I'll take that. That's a, another V card. So that's pretty decent. Here is another card code for... I'm gonna hit the rest up before I put this video up, but take a quick look at the hollows and sort of full arts and good cards that we got from all of this. We got a Phalanx, Gallade, Toxtercy, Rayquaza, Sylveon GX, the Full Art Pikachu, as well as Shuckle GX. So that's pretty decent in all. I'm going to put all these into the binder and stuff. I think that was a pretty decent haul. All of this shit I got from uh, Walmart. It seems like these packs were definitely uh, not like tampered with at all or whatever. Other than the ones that came in this Pokeball here, they were all looking like pretty normal, good quality packs. See a Pokeball has dense in it already because i dropped it so yeah remember to like the video or if i find out you disliked it we will put you in a circle surrounded by these guys and they will summon you to a dark dark place have a good one everyone and i'll see you in the next one peace